Hi, this is Barbie and Jenna. We are going to show you how to solve a compound interest problem. And the problem is, on Melissa's sixth birthday, she gets a $3,000 CD that earns 5% interest compounded quarterly. If the CD matures on her 16th birthday, how much money will be available? Okay, so I'm going to start figuring out the problem. So we're going to use the equation A equals P over 1, and then times NT. So over here, we'll write out the P is at $3,000. The rate is at 5%, so we change that to 0 0.05. The N, which is how many times it's compounded in a year, is 4 since it's quarterly. And then the T is, we want to find out when she's 16, but she's already 6, so that will equal 10. So we want to find out A. A, and then you put 3,000 for the P, the parentheses, 1 plus the rate over the how many times compounded and then again for the n then the t is 10 so that's 4 times 10 so you can use your calculator 0 0.05 divided by 4 to get rid of that fraction so we have 3000 and then 1 plus 0 0.0125 4 times 10 so you just add 1 to that 1.0125, we got a zero again, 4 and 10, bring everything down. So if we put in there 1.0125, and you put the caret for the 4 and the caret for the 10 equals. So we'll get 1.6. Four, four. If you round it up, and then times three thousand. So you can just do times three thousand equals. So it will be four nine three zero four thousand nine hundred thirty dollars and eighty six cents. Um, if you want to find out, you know, when she's twenty, you would use, you know. 20 minus 6 would equal 14, so you would do the same exact problem. 3,000, 1 plus 0 0.05 for the rate, over 4 for quarterly, and then 4 times 14 instead of 10. So you figure out the same thing. We know from over there this is going to be 1.0125. This will be 4 times 14. Then you just put it in the calculator. 1.0125 carat 4 carat 14. And you get 2.005. And you times that by 3,000. So that equals six thousand fifteen dollars and ten cents. And that's how you figure it out.